Hello everyone! I wanted to come on and do a mini thrift haul of sorts. Um, I did go thrifting without you. I know I'm terrible. I will slap my own hand. Anyways, um, I did get a little haul and there are some amazing things I found. Um, I was at the Oregon coast, which if you have not been to the Oregon coast, highly recommend. Um, it reminds me of Ireland. I live in Oregon, but when I went to visit Ireland, it immediately reminded me of home because of the crazy landscape. So, if you have a chance, I highly recommend going to the Oregon coast. Anyways, I was out there with family and we did a little thrifting and antiquing. And this is some of the stuff I found. So, I don't think I have the receipt anymore, but I haven't taken the prices off of anything, so... Everything should be good as far as prices, and I'll be able to tell you that. So, let's get started. And there's my boss. Okay, first I picked up a Craft House Paint by Number Vintage 1999. This was $1.99 and it is sealed. Um, vintage paint by numbers do sell really well. Sometimes, actually a lot of times, the paint is dried out. But um, I've actually sold them with dried out paint and they still sell really good. So um, I definitely wanted to pick that up for $1.99. That was definitely a good find. Next is... I had not heard of this brand before, Mark Graham. Sorry, I had like a stutter there. Mark Graham, they had a $6.99 price tag on it. Um, I have not heard of the brand, but being that it was branded, I assumed it was probably something I would want to look up. So um, I did look it up and it does sell pretty well. It does have some imperfections, kind of like a bubbling on the material, but still I think a good pickup. Um, when I looked it up, it does do well. And I'll pop in some comps of what I found when I was researching it. So, it's just kind of like a little mini briefcase bag. So very cute. Okay, next is, these shoes were just super retro-y, vintage Y2K vibes. Um, the brand, I believe, is Cecilia, and I did look it up, and it was half price. I'm pretty sure green was half price, because I wouldn't have paid 13 for these. Um, and the brand does okay, but I got them more so based on the shoe itself, the way it looks, just because that Y2K type of clothing and shoes and all of that is really popular right now so um that's kind of why i got these so these were about $6.50. six fifty six dollars and fifty cents so i got that next is this super cute vintage bag it's like it's not clasped and it took me a minute in the store to see what it said but it is whiting and davis and this was $3.99. And it's in really good condition. The inside doesn't really have any marks of wear or anything like that. These just need to be popped out and then you are able to clasp it. But it's like a little egg, a little metallic paisley egg. It's beautiful. Great price for a Whiting Davis. I was really excited. I'm not sure what I found first, but that got me going into really digging into the purses. It might have been this one, but as we continue, you'll see why. So we got that. Next. This I could tell was vintage. It's like a velvety material. Oh, there's my little fatty kitty. Um, and then it has this embroidered design on it. It's like a lady in a swimsuit riding a motorcycle. But let me open it up. The brand was 
Yizzy store. It was $6.99. Um, I looked this up and there was really not many sold, at least on eBay. Um, but the one that did sell through was, I believe, out of the UK. And it sold for around $60. So this one's in good shape as well. It just needs a like lint rolling just because of the fabric but really good shape and I decided to pick that up as well next is the best part of our find and it is a Brahmin so um I was going through oh this still has the um, little protective coating tag on it, so maybe it wasn't even used. Maybe it was like a gift and someone... Oh yeah, there's still the protective tag. Alright, so it's a very good condition Brahmin. They wanted $7.99. I got up to the register and was checking out and the lady immediately knew they underpriced it and she was like oh I just found out about this bag and it's a very expensive bag and I'm just like oh amazing I love it so much so anyways they realized what they had done but this is part of thrifting is goodwill knows prices of things and for the most part and it's finding the things that slip through the cracks so this was a very good slip through the crack find <laughs> um, for me. I think I could visibly tell she was upset at how they priced it, but I was kind of expecting her to take it back and be like, oh, we tagged this wrong and just take it. But she just followed through with the sale, which obviously I'm happy with. So yes, we found this amazing it's kind of branded there on the handles insides in really good shape. I don't think it was used to be honest because it has all of its protective little things on it um and there's just no signs of wear but I will try to find the uh model or the name of this particular one and I'll put it in the video as well um, but whenever you see this, like, croco, because obviously it was hanging up with all the other purses, and this is just signature Brahmin, you know, this kind of croco snakes print type of thing, and I pulled it, and I was like, oh, okay, but it must be expensive, and then I was like, oh my gosh, it's $7.99, so, yes, definitely the best pickup and probably the best handbag pickup I've ever had at a Goodwill because usually they catch them all. They either send them to be put on their website or they put it in the case and sell it for a lot um, more money. So my best one at Goodwill. Granted, I find some good ones at the bins. Um, if you all check out my bins videos, I find good bags at the bins. So Okay, what do we have next? Next is this little, it's almost like a, what is it, chocolate, I forget what it's called, but it's a little pitcher, and it is Franciscan, and it was $4.99, vintage Franciscan. I haven't looked up this pattern, but I will look up this pattern. Um, their retro -y prints do really well, but I'm not sure about this one specifically, but it was still a good pickup for $4.99. So we got that. Next, I think, oh, right, this is just for me, <laughs> probably. I never say never about selling something, but... This was just super cute, and it works. It is Omnibus Japan 1982. It was $6.99. There isn't any chips or cracks on it, but it was just adorable. 
Let me see if it winds. Oops. Oh gosh. As I like break it. And that little fish like spins and then goes up, up and down. It's just cute. And I obviously have cats. So, I have an affinity. But yes, we got a vat. Now we just have to let it <laughs> die out. I think... I don't remember all the stuff I got. I was trying to remember if there's any more breakables, and it looks like there is. Next, this was also 50% off... So about six fifty. Is that right? Yeah, six dollars and fifty cents. Romana, size twelve, and it's just this beaded craziness. Let me see if I can kind of lay it out here. Just so much amazing. Whenever I find something that has a ton of beading on it, I just gotta get it. It sells relatively well. I'll try to find um, a listing or a sold and I'll put it in the video as well. But I love the baby blue with the gold, so I got this one. If it wouldn't have been 50% off, I wouldn't have got it. Because I don't think the sell-through rate is that great or not sell through rate but how high it sells for next are a set of plates so aviation sidecar blue train downhill racer and they are the Pottery Barn. And it, it should have been $3.99 for the whole set. Oh, I think they charged me $3.99 for the whole set. But it looks like they were all individually priced $3.99. Huh. Well, I don't know. I did pay $3.99 for all of them. Because they were all just in one rubber band thing. But I would not have got them if they would have charged me $4 per plate. That would have been almost $16 for four plates. Which is a lot. Um, but I will put a pop on the screen um, what I found when I researched this. But usually Pottery Barn does pretty well so I got that I didn't look it up I don't think I just got it pr purely off of it being Pottery Barn okay there's something breakable in there <laughs> oh right I forgot about this this is like a little trinket dish Okay, well, she really put that uh, rubber band on there. Um, but the lid comes off. It was $4.99, and it is signed. And I think I was able to look them up. And it does relatively well um, as far as a breakable pottery item. Which, thankfully, I did not break. But I saw that, and it was definitely unique. So I got that. Let's hope the breakables are all done because I don't need to be breaking anything. This I paid $7.99 for and it, you can tell it's linen. So that had me looking at it a bit more and it is Friaze, no. Fridays, <laughs> sorry. Fridays Linen Redefined, 100% linen. Um, it's like a coral red type of top. 
and it probably sells around 30-ish. Um, and it's hard because I'm primarily a bins reseller, which I get most of my stuff from the bins. So I'm like, I could get this for a dollar at the bins. So it's hard sometimes to pay $7.99, but it's still a good pickup. Definitely profit to be made on it. Um, and so it's just, I usually make my profit margin a little higher when I'm actually shopping retail Goodwill, just because I get so much from the bins and I get really good stuff too, because people don't want to pay the high price at a retail Goodwill. Okay, last. I paid $7.99 for this one and it is Rails Large. And it is very wrinkly, but it's just a button-down plaid kind of, what do you call these? I don't know, my brain just decided to depart my body. But Rails does pretty well. It is a size large, which is also a good size. I thought Rails did better than I thought, because when I looked it up just to make sure, it's kind of not that high, maybe like 25 to 30 um, obviously still profit to be made, but not massive profit. So, um, still, I wanted to pick it up. I don't think I've sold Rails before, but I think it was the first time I found it at Goodwill. So, decided to pick that up as well. So, there we are. And there's Widget. We found lots of good things. Obviously, our best find is that Brahmin. Um, I probably will not find that again. <laughs> or it's just, it's hard to find expensive brands um, because, like I said, Goodwill does catch themselves, but it's always exciting when you do. That's all part of the treasure hunt, right? Um, but I post on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, so all of these goodies, minus my cute little kitty music fish spinny thing, um, will be posted. And then here's my other stuff I'm posting soon. It's my pile that's gonna be going up. So, lots to do, lots to do, but I have fun every step of the way. I love doing it, so... Until next time, which will either be a bins digging video, a Goodwill thrift video, a retail shop, just a regular thrift store that I might visit. Um, I probably will be doing some shipping videos. So just pretty much a lot that has to do with my reselling world. Um, I've been doing it for quite a few years now, and I love it so much, so thanks for coming along. If you could give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate it so much. It helps the algorithms, and it helps people find the video, and it's just helpful all the way around. All right, until next time, bye. Bye.